Hello, hello again, and I wish a good day to you. My name is Jeffrey, and I hope you're going to agree that it is a wonderful on passive day to take a trip up a mountain. <laughs> hey, if you've been with us for years, months, or even days, it should be more than apparent that the evidences of our incredible successes are growing. I mean, just look around. They are absolutely everywhere. Look at our growth. Look at the expansion over the last year or two. There have been so many additions and developments that now we have at least 50 departments and we've even moved into new buildings in um, Hyderabad. So look at the intrinsic fairness and the unbelievable generosity that is in our business. Look at the monumental value being modeled through on passive. But even more than that, the implementation of the strategic elements designed to drive the global success they're not just going to disappear at launch, not on your life. Our leaders know the conditions, they know the terrain, okay? And this means they know what can be expected and they've put strategies in place already to ensure continued growth and massive profitability long after we launch. These are the incrementally planned rollout events that we talk about, right? And they mark the phases of the on-passive sequence of the launch or the launch sequence. It's perfectly planned, so you can believe that launching of on passing is going to be historic and not at all likely to be repeated anytime soon. And each phase, being associated here with camps on Mount Everest, is a goal. It's a top, so to speak, that we achieve on our way to the summit. And with each achievement that we make, we make a new top or a new goal. And the summit for on passive Although a place at the top of Mount Everest is more of an ideal for on passive that we can continually strive for and that is perpetually changing. So, for our purposes, it's appropriate for us to consider the camps on the mountain, Mount Everest, with a summit that's higher above sea level than any other mountain in the world, as an analogy for on passive's journey. But first off, experienced climbers don't entertain this journey lightly. They know pretty much what they can expect, too. And that's exactly how it is with Mr. Mufara and his incredible team of developers, his think tankers, otherwise known as the Onpassive Brain Trust. And as we start the journey, let's keep in mind that there are three base camps, labeled 1, 2, and 3 appropriately, and each of these equates to a specific phase early in Onpassive journey. So... Starting at the bottom, we head into Camp 1. That's Base Camp 1 on Mount Everest. It's located about 18,300 feet up. That means there's been considerable effort already put into the journey that most of us aren't even aware about just for us to get there. Keep in mind, the summit isn't even visible until we get to 28,870 feet. You got that, right? That means we started from a place where we couldn't even see where we were going to end up. This means about 60% of the total journey had to be completed before we even got to Base Camp 1. That's the work that went into On Passive that Mr. Mufara referenced when he made the comparison of the bamboo root system, which takes about five years and nobody sees, to our pre-launch activity. So, from the Base Camp, the climbers will pass through what's called the Kumbai Ice Fall, and you got to get through that to get to Camp 2, which is actually about uh, 20,000 feet up. Next, they got to go through the glacial valley known as the Western Coombe, right? It's uh, actually spelled C-W-M, but it's pronounced Coombe. And they've got to go through that to get to Camp 3 at 21,300 feet. From there, the next challenge is climbing Lhotse Face, using fixed ropes to get across a sheer wall of ice on the way to Camp 4 at 23,100 feet. Now, using more ropes, the climber's got to go across what's called the Geneva Spur to reach Camp 5 at 26,000 feet. Man alive. It's quite a journey. From there, they take a hike to Camp 6 called the Balcony at 27,200 feet. Now, the balcony provides a platform where the climbers can rest before they make that final push for the summit. I personally quote this to a point where Mr. Mufara and his team of uh, expert developers can actually take a look at where we're going and what we're doing and develop the strategies. So, from here, climbers start that final push for the goal to reach that summit, right? 
So continuing the journey up another thousand treacherous feet takes you through a series of what is called steps. And once it's the top, that allows you to see the summit. At an altitude of 29,000 feet, Mount Everest is the highest mountain on the planet. And on passive, has the potential to become the biggest business on the planet. Everest Advanced Base Camp is analogous to the on passive launch date. Keep in mind, on passive's climbers also know what to expect and are also prepared for the journey. And this means that we've anticipated events that happen early in the life of new startup businesses, and we have provisions to successfully navigate them. To that end, each subsequently higher camp and each of the series of steps near the top of Mount Everest can represent an event or a phase of growth impacting on passive's long-term growth. But on Passive already has responses lined up in anticipation of such events. They've already developed approaches for the methodical post-launch deployment of layered components designed strategically and innovatively to ensure our expansion and our continued success. In short, On Passive is going to periodically provide itself with a proverbial shot in the arm, if you like medical terms, or boosters, if you like rocketry, to ensure our growth and livelihood to ensure our successful future. And that's why we are extremely confident because we know this to be true. It's all been done and it's happening right now, even as we speak. Now, after the launch, there will never ever be another opportunity to get the founder position at any cost. We're being provided right now every opportunity to pre-build our network and our net worth and to expedite our goal reaching processes personally, for each of us, and for the company right now. And it doesn't matter when we come in. As founders, we are in the best possible position. So if you've not joined with us yet, you can be in that position too. If you've already been invited, please reply to the founder that invited you to join. If you weren't, then please click a team link below in the description box and join with us right now. You know, I really hope that you take some decisive control of your future by doing that. But whatever you decide, we wish blessing upon blessing for you and your entire family.